Hello friends and welcome back for more Terraria. So if you remember from our live stream the last time, we got pretty far in the new Frost Moon. We got to about wave 10 or 11, somewhere within that general range, and we couldn't finish it off. So I went ahead and made some adjustments to this little area. As you can see, we have our original platform of spiky traps. We also have a nice platform, which gives us a little bit more running room. Plus some more platforms and a little farming area. We have some moon glow and some water leaf over here growing. So at least we have some kind of farm set up. My plan this time around is to go ahead and start making some potions. We're going to actually have some magic power potions. Generally, they don't last no more than two minutes, but the 20% increased magic damage will help a lot, especially with this godly razor pine we got the last time from one of the Ever Screams. Of course, I had to go ahead and reforge it. Godly is the best prefix you can get. So, the razor pine is a really new awesome weapon in patch 1.2.2, but getting the prefix godly on it makes it all the better. Alright, stop knocking on the door. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and try to do another run with the Frost Moon this episode. We'll see how this goes. We'll have the potions, we'll have the buffs. Let's go ahead and get that set up. Now, in the meantime, I have went ahead and did a Pumpkin Moon just to see how things go and test the waters. And of course, we aced the thing that there was no tomorrow. I got a spooky hook. And a nice superior raven staff. So now I have me a little minion when we do the actual battle. Of course, time's running out right about now. So I may have to go ahead and fast forward just a little bit. Alright, at some point we'll go ahead and move our garden somewhere. I don't know. We'll put it somewhere much more safer because if we move too far on this platform, as you can see, we're going to create a spawning spot for mobs to come over. And that's just going to ruin it. So there's no point in doing that. We'll have to find a way to do it differently. Yeah, next time. Right about now, we'll go ahead and get ready for this event to take place. So, may as well go ahead and release the trap. And hopefully, we get ready here relatively soon. We've got the present set. And there we go. Okay, activate the magic ball. And here come the mobs. Now, we're just going to sit back and enjoy the carnage. Yeah. Making things so much easier. As long as we stay, for the most part, uh, relatively around the middle, we should be okay. Now, of course, when the Ice Queens come in, that'll be a different story entirely, but not worrying about that right now in Tier 1. We've got a couple tiers before that happens. And there we go, there's where the whole platform with the garden comes in. That is why this is not going to work. Okay, well, we got the Tier 2 relatively quick. Keep these guys at bay, though. Yeah. Okay, we'll drink our first potion here. Yes, we'll get the buff as well. Oh, we are doing some slaughtering over here. Come on, guys, get down. Oh, yeah. There we go, wave five already. Well, this is going really quick. Okay, so we should have Ever Screams coming up relatively soon. There's our Nutcracker coming in. There's our Ever Scream. Yeah, okay, well, you know what? We're gonna take him out quick, too. I love how this weapon works. Look at that health melt. Health is melting. He is nothing but a big rejuvenation. That's all he is. Come on, ever scream. Yeah. He's doing a little bit of damage, but not necessarily enough to really do anything. We just basically used him for major healing. Okay, wave six. And we still got a long way to go tonight. Oh, helicopters. These things, of course, are the bane of everything. So we gotta make sure to take them out as soon as possible. Okay, this potion does make a large difference, I gotta say about that. Oh, look at you down there. It will drop you really quick. So using these potions is definitely a good idea. Come on, dude. There we go. This is turning out to be very nice. I'm very pleasantly surprised by how this is going. Get out of here. Yeah. Wave 7. I think we really stand a chance to do some really good with this. Okay, everyone's coming to town. Now everyone can get out of here. Oh. See all that? Here comes our sand tank. He is not going to be friendly. Come on, sand tank. That's it. You step right into the carnage. Uh, drink again. Yeah, look at that health melt. Health is melting. 
Speaking of which, they're melting. Oh yeah, I like this. This is a really good setup. I'm really digging how this works. If we didn't have that one little garden right there. Oh. Yes, he missed. Totally missed. You know what? I like where that goes too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. Wave 8. I really can't even see the position of the moon, so... Hopefully we're still maybe a half a night to go. We are on a really good track right here. Unfortunately, getting the Ice Queen down there will be even more difficult now. Because of our position. But you know what? I'm pretty confident in our ability here. Waste all these little buggers. Because all they are is just a waste of space. So the spiky traps and the potions are working out really, really well. Wave 9, okay. Now that they're done. Once again, oh man, this is just proving to be difficult with that freaking garden there. That is just getting right in the way. There we go. Come on, waste them, waste them, waste them. Nice. Very nice. We can always go down for more health. It doesn't even really matter. Yeah. Alright, come on, sand tank. You done yet? And we'll lure you right back. And we're gonna work it this way. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, them missiles really caught me off guard. Come on, come on, hang in there. Hang in there. There we go, nice. Just what I wanted is here. The sound of explosion. Drop wave 10. So we are coming up really quick on the freaking Ice Queen. If we can get at least one or two of them down, I'd be very happy. Come on. Die, you stupid tree. Oh, yeah. They are giving me, giving me a good run here. And going down. Oh, God. Oh. That's just a very hard position to be in, unfortunately. There's always going to be at least one freaking death in this. I can always feel it. Always feel it. Oh, God, run. Just run. Just go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness, go. Holy crap. Heal. Go. Give me that. Yes. You know what? Get out of here. Jeez. Wow, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Go down, go down. Uh-oh, it's not good. I think it's getting brighter out. Yeah, that is definitely not a good sign. Ice Queen, good. Oh, there she is. There she is. Right, we gotta take you down, like pronto. Come here, come here, get back here. Oh, she is gonna be the most difficult. If we can get the Blizzard Staff, that would be the, the crowning achievement of this. The Blizzard Staff is like the highest DPS magic weapon in the game currently, I believe, right now. So, if it's willing to give it up, I'd be very happy. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, there it is. We got it. No matter what happens after this, I feel quite happy. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Get down there. All right, let's keep them at bay. Give me some health. Come on, we got her, we got her, we got her. Heal. Done. Come on, drop. Nice. Oh, wow, wave 12. Okay, well, this is definitely an improvement. Come on. Jeez. Ah, Saint Tank. We are gonna have to go ahead and do this. Kill the Evergreen for Ever Scream, excuse me. Green screen. Get that health. Jeez. Talk about being hot. What is that? A Yeti? Oh my goodness. Go down, go down. We are still in the thick of this. We managed to get the wave 12 or 13. Holy crap. That would be great. Oh, are you kidding me? 
3,000. Jeez. And the damage is still going strong. Of course, my town is almost dead, so... You know, take that for what that's worth. Oh, crap. Give me all the health. Right, where, where's the... There's, there's the queen. Can we get rid of it? Can we get rid of it? Come on. Up oh, there we go. We got rid of it now. And the rest of my town is being slain, so... Go figure. Go! Holy crap, go! <laughs> Get out of here! Oh my goodness! What wave is this? Jeez! All I know is my town is slaughtered. Drop! Drop them all! Drop them all! Okay, we got an elf melter down there. That's pretty cool. Very cool to say the least. Come on, come on, Queenie, get back here. Get back here. That's it. Wave 13, we made it. Holy crap. Now, of course, them waves she keeps shooting is probably the strongest attack she's got going. And that's about it. Well, you know what? That went pretty well, I suppose. We got what we needed. Get out of here, stupid Yeti. Nice. Blizzard Staff. Oh. 99 magic, very fast speed. 3 mana. Showers area with icicles. So as long as you hold down the left mouse button, this thing's gonna just continually attack. Oh, this is nice. Now I can see why this is a very powerful weapon. Very nice indeed. And we can actually make this mythical, so we can give it the strongest actual spell enchantment in the game. Or the prefix in the game. This is very powerful. We're probably gonna need all the gold we get to actually do this too. Let me shut down the traps here. We ain't, how, how are we looking on gifts? Okay, we got 166 gifts. Holy crap. No, we don't really need them all. You know what? Let's take... Let's get rid of the bat staff because we're not gonna use it anymore. Not that I even hardly used it, you know. And, oh, that is awesome. This thing is so awesome. If there's going to be a lunar boss, I can only assume he's going to be epic. Because having something like a staff, this staff is sick. Yes. All right, come on, spiky balls. Did I turn it off? I thought I turned it off. Now it's off. Okay, whatever. Shut the door. Shut the door. Give me the health. And, of course, my enchanter's gone. Go figure. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. I would like to show you before I leave that we've got the mythical blizzard staff now that the goblin tinkerer has been here. So now that we've accomplished that, we're ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a happy holiday. And for those who aren't selling a Habra holiday, then happy normal day to you. Anyway, have yourself a wonderful day. And if not, then just simply fake it. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good day. I'll see you again next time.